generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverages. A very nice and creamy banana milkshake. Very nice indeed. So welcome back to the game in the previous episode. We were averting calamity and managed to get a lot of improvements done. Although still haven't got the wiring sorted for this thing because of selling. Either way, we managed to get in a lot more paths. Which is more important than you think. Especially when it's cold outside and prisoners need to get to A to B very quickly. We also have some solitary now. We've got a training room here. Um, cleaning cleaning cupboard and the laundry now are working although it still does say that the prisoners really 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 need some clothing hmm actually no well, it's not too bad we also have a dock control system weather control phone taps cctvs it's just better so happy with that however not so happy with the daily cash flow so we need to do either more grants and or get more prisoners. In the meantime, let's sort out parole shop and the chapel. So first things first, let's get some lighting in this place. And we're going to do that by basically running a cable like so. And that will basically give us light in and around this place. So that will be fine. Actually, that's going to go more centralised. That should be a little bit better. The parole is fairly easy. So it's going to be a visitor table. And there's going to be that in there. The shop will require a shop front, which I'm going to place down, I guess, more towards the middle of these. I guess the shop front can go there. Some people have, like, a little atrium that you can, like, come in a door and then you can get served here. And it does look pretty good, but we haven't really made, sadly, any allowance for that in here. But we don't necessarily need it. We'll have a couple of shop uh, shelves. I'm just going to... Do you want to split them up, or how do you want to do this, actually? Um, a couple of shop shelves like that. Or maybe move them back like they were. Actually, yeah, I quite like that. It's going to be a bit full, a bit cramped, but there you are. Cozy is the word we're probably going to use. And we do need some... Yeah, we do need some tables as well. And then in the chapel... The altar will go there. The pews will go... Is that the right orientation? I think that is the right orientation. I think. Five there. Five there. Prayer mats would be nice. We'll have a set of prayer mats on the top and bottom. What the... What on earth happened there? Hang on a second. Uh, <laughs> the camera, for whatever reason, just came over here. And it looks like... There's really... Like a bright light over here. What was going on there? This prison requires solitary confinement, but no solitary cells are available. Incorrect. They don't require solitary... And solitary is there, even if they did. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Anyway, we are cracking on with the building of, let's say, the chapel, the shop, and parole. Let's not forget, we do need to put in some radiators. So, a radiator, radiator, radiator. It's bottom right-hand corner there. That should be all fine. We don't have the toilets in the solitary. That was the original plan, to have the toilets in solitary, hence by the 2x2. Two two, but I just haven't got around to doing it yet, mainly because of cash uh we are still going for the inmate nutritional research which is oh it's a single yes i, I changed the thing but i didn't alter this uh sorry let's change that to free time there we go a single low quantity low variety meal for two days we'll start working on that now because we got eat time there i'll have just passed that yeah that's fine that's, that's working i could add more money get more money if we added a death row no not happening so we have the shop we have the chapel. We have the ability to assign people in the in the shop, which means that the prisoners that I was gonna say has every prisoner got a job. I think that is the case, yes. And apparently they really like working in there rather than the shop. <laughs> but we do have a shop. We do have parole. We haven't obviously got the flooring in. That's a, a deliberate decision. Oh, I see what the the bright light was. It's when these two CCTVs sort of go into one area. 
yeah, it sort of brightens it up a bit. Fair enough, fair enough. So how are we going to get more money? Well, the obvious one is we can get a bank loan. We can get a bank loan of up to half a million. What would we do with said loan? Well, I think it would be desirable to simply get more prisoners, and that would increase the money we get overall. We could reduce some of our workforce. In fact, I am going to sack the armed guards. We simply have not needed them, and immediately that's put us on to positive cash flow. So, don't know why I didn't do that for a long time. Oh, wait, I know. One is an idiot. Looks like, however, uh, Paul Dana, prison number 6913434, sentenced to four years for assaulting an officer, is currently in here because they had weapons on them. Okay. Right. I would like to do things like tool cleanup, but you need at least 40 prisoners and 30 and 40 prisoners for crackdown on drugs and things like that. Looks like people are now in the chapel as well, which is good. Let's go to our wiring. No, water water and it's a hot water pipe which will it run these it should connect up there you would think surely it would get these done it's it's not too far away maybe one of them is going to be a bit off but yeah it's currently asleep so i'm going to do a shakedown most of the places to search are <laughs> outside over there so yeah over to our programs we are still running electrician training fire safety training and we can start doing things like a foundation education program we can do a parole hearing we're going to set up loads of parole hearings because it's free and also yeah i mean farm flower therapy animal therapy conflict resolution animal therapy requires a therapist in a meeting room You've got conflict resolution, reform prisoner consultation. We haven't got a meeting room, so I guess we'll have to just do with what we've got. <clears throat> okay, so danger level climbing as to be completely expected. Daily cash flow is pretty good. Don't know how we've managed that, but not going to complain. Some prisoners have serious complaints. We'll double check those in needs here. There is some there is some critical needs for family and hygiene. Most likely this guy. Oh, I like that what happened was the I think it was a was it a guard that came over? Anyway, someone came in and uh, dropped them off a uh, was like an oatmeal or something like that in the morning. Nice. Feed all prisoners were on ninety five percent, so no concern in, in that there. Oh, and looks like Aston Levisedge is going through the parole hearing. It is often a good idea to have a guard assigned to parole. Now I haven't yet got micromanagement so I can't put them on any particular I can't put them in any particular time. Not that we normally do that. Uh, okay, so let's go for I guess then walls. Reclaimed wood wall. We'd have to run a reclaimed wood wall around there. Do we have to do that? Actually, no. Planning. Hmm, actually, quick. Quick build. It's quick build and cloning now. We're going to select all of this. Oh, that's a bit different, actually. I'm going to have to not clone everything. I'm going to clone this side. And rotate it round. And then that would go in there. Then we put the wall in. Actually, so that one that one would be acceptable. That would be totally fine. Estimated price seven grand. Okay. Um why is Palmer sitting on that side? <laughs> Let's have a look at Andrew Palmer here, prison number six nine one three 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 three. Sent the three years for assault. They served two point nine years. So they've not got long before they leave anywhere. Grading. Estimated chance of reoffending is 39%. They're not gonna they're not gonna pass parole. Now here's the thing. If they fa fail parole, there is a chance of them seeing you know the red mist descends and they just kick off and fight. And if they do that, obviously I'm guessing <laughs> it's not gonna go well for their reoffending rate and everything else. But they're out in literally a day or so. So just hold your nerve, mate. Just Go about your daily business, yes? <laughs> uh, 
quick build and cloning once again. Um, and I don't believe it says seven thousand one hundred and forty. I, I, I don't agree that that is the actual cost of that. But we're going to place it down and see if that actually works. So that's going to increase our prisoner capacity. It will afford us many things, not just more money for the daily cash flow, more grants, more eventful times, shall we say. It is currently, uh-oh, it's currently sunny. Nice. And then it goes over to probably sunny again. Yeah. And then a hot spell. So that is a weather warning issued category hot spell 21 hours and 10 minutes. I mean, that's back to the future too level of weather accuracy. And duration is three hours. Oh, it's going to get even worse. That's a heat wave. It's actually not going to get worse. We've got a hot spell for three hours, 25 minutes, ranging from 14.8 degrees C to 27 degrees. And then the heat wave is a higher, a higher base temperature of 19 degrees, followed by highs of 24. With a low wind speed coming from the southeast. So, we may have some issues with that. We are doing fire safety training. So, that's, that's something we are running. Check out all our programs. We've got fire safety training. So, another way to use extinguishers. I mean, we don't have extinguishers. <laughs> so, I should probably place fire extinguishers in and around the place. We're going to place none anywhere because we've got minus 687... Uh, generic units of currency. Ah, but we have just got 10 grand for completing some of that training. Good. Good. What else can we get from grants then? Basic farming. Eco-friendly. Green machine. Reduce the average reoffending rate to 30%. What is our reoffending rate? Prison grading, we don't have one. We've got reform through education initiative. That's pretty good if we can get that unlocked. What would basic farming under... T what would that entail? Um, hire the farm worker. Vegetable allotment, fruit orchard, farming field. No, we're not going to have that on this. That would be an expansion island. That would be farming island. Green machine is to get solar, wind, etc. Very much like the idea of that. Space is limited on this build. We do get green energy goals though. And see the rewards are to unlock things. And we can eventually put everything on to... Yeah, I think we can eventually put everything on to solar. Or at least green energy. I think we'll stick with... For now, with this being under a state of construction, we'll maybe not focus on that yet. Bakery, no. Restaurant, no. Reform, freeze, no. Not yet. Criminal insane wing, no. Severe weather detected. Yep, that's that heat wave. I guess I'm just going to go for... I do want to go for green machine. We need to build one of every type. So solar wind and solar wind hybrid. So that would be quite... Panels, wind turbines, and then... Yeah. We need to get these two goals. So we need three of each. And I did check before. Of... Uh, how much would it cost? We haven't got it unlocked. Do we not? No. Right, we'll keep it simple. Mm. Reform through education initiative, which we've already got. The classroom and things like that built uh, there, so that's fine. We'll also go for a fire extinguisher. We're going to have one in laundry. We're going to have a couple in here. I don't know if we need one in security or anything like that. Be nice to have one in here. One in that corner. I'm just going to basically not dump them around. That's not the right term, but we'll pop them around the place. Um, maybe in this corner as well. And there we go. Alright. There's some people in solitary there. 
This is getting built quite nicely as well. People having to work around the outside, go through this door, but that's not a problem. We've now served a single low quantity, low variety meal. Which means we need to go for high quantity, high variety for Mm, there and there. And naturally, that will tank our daily cash flow, <laughs> but it shouldn't much matter. I like the way that the, the shop is all nice and stocked, yet nobody's working in it to actually stock the shop so they can buy things. <laughs> There's a severe heatwave coming in, and... It can cause some problems. Specifically, we can see... There you go. It's getting hot. I'm going to prioritise the uh, building of this. So we get this. We get... It's essentially like a expansion of the metal. And it locks the jail doors. And, well, locks doors in general. So I don't know... And I think it can also cause fires. Maybe not this temperature... Oh, we have a person that's been released here, Alex Hatchet. I mean, they're currently standing around. Surely they would just get on a visit to boat. Oh, yes. That's a noise that I didn't like to hear. So, we have the power station. It's just, it's far too hot for it to run. But, our backup generator is functioning perfectly fine. People have asked about batteries actually on that, and I checked, and it didn't. No, you can't place them around there. Oh, hell's bells. Overdosed. Frederick, Dr. Jacob. There's another person there that's overdosed. Store in medical bed. Ah, they are coming for him. But because the guards are so annoyed... Wow, it's happened again. They're so... They've got, are they not... Ah, uh, effects overheating. So effects overheating is slowing them down. They also need... Well, they also have a lot of needs. Yeah, don't know if you can see that. They are physically... It's, it's altered. Yeah. Lannister there. Lots of needs to fulfil. What are we doing for needs for the rest of the prisoners? Pretty much okay. Yeah. Hmm... Try placing drink fountains. Yeah. Drinking fountains. I haven't got drinking fountains. Mm, would it be of some benefit to put drinking fountains in here? Certainly want to put them in here. You have to put them against a wall, I think. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is like the toilet area. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll put some drinking fountains in the middle. Like that. I'll actually prioritise that, I think. Water will obviously be required, which is fine. It's just going to run up there because we'll put the toilets in at some point as well. Wow. So these guys overdosed and then we just couldn't get there because it's so, so warm. Also, that there is bulging because of the heat. Congratulations on handling this calamity. Your prisoners are thankful for the care. And will have their needs boosted for the next five days. For the care. Huh. Okay. Let's just um, <clears throat> sweep a couple of things under the rug. How are we getting on? 37% serve three high variety, high quantity meals for two days. Receiving three medium security prisoners. Where the forecast is, everything's fine. Yeah. It is spring and a sunny day and disposition, probably. <laughs> Look at the utter ridiculousness of this thing. Oh, dearie me. It is what it is. Which is... 
the universally accepted British way of saying <laughs> and Sir Grumbles here and our profanity. Um, alright. I guess we're just waiting for stuff to be scanned. Do we need another scanner? I don't think we need another scanner. Do we want another scanner? Possibly. Possibly. There's emergency bacon. Just being brought in. Um, I'm guessing the prisoners' needs are going to be absolutely, yeah, absolutely spot on. That's good. That's really good. There is still a high need for literature and luxuries. I mean, if people were working in the shop, then there would be luxuries. Um, that's what I thought may happen. Staff only the staff only areas and not staff only because of the building of this. I will prioritise that jail door to be open. And also just realised... Metal detectors aren't in. Not a big drama, because we've got metal detectors here and here. Oh, and there's our intake as well. We don't have any CIs, and this guy's got an unknown trait. Alex Harvey. Scott Sadler here. 31% chance of reoffending. I think the it, the default is set. Is it to 33? Policy. 30%. Oh, that's... Just, just missed it. Just missed it. And why have these guys not been taken anywhere? They're still... Still quite... I mean, there's nothing else. It's unsanitary and unpleasant. At worst... It's definitely contravening many, many, many regulations. It says to do stop prisoner in a hearse helicopter. There it is. There is the hearse helicopter. Store. Store. Prioritize, please. I don't know who picks them up and moves them, actually, to be fair. And also the CCTV monitor is currently inactive there you go so the guards have come along interesting that one decided to go up and round the other one decided to go down and or down and through that's right um because uh barracloth here they they were able to go through walls I, I forgot about that training that we that we did why does that name ring a bell barracloth Is that one of the guards from Porridge? I think it might be. Let me know, if you know. And then we just got Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me. So, how is building? Building is... Well, it's getting built. That's the best I can say about that one. We don't have any utilities, we don't have any heating, we don't have any problems really with the temperature and weather coming in, so not really too concerned about any of that. Almost finished the inmate nutritional research, which is good. We have 10 medium security prisoners arriving because we've just built this. Oh, brilliant. So let us run some electrical cables. It's going to run across there. And then, how have we done it? It's just run down, has it? Yeah, it's just been run down. And we'll do the same thing for the water. We've already... Oh, look at that. Himself's already made provisions to do this anywhere. And that'll be all nice and lit up. Just going to check. Yep, deployment, deployment is all set and fine, which is good. This will bring us over that 30 prisoner mark, so we can do an additional grant, which is, um, I believe, tool cleanup. Or is it crackdown on drugs? One of the two. There's a grant that we can get. Uh, tool cleanup is 40 prisoners. Crackdown on drugs is 30. So there we go. And, well, there is some of the intakes here. That's not the one I wanted. We have a green thumb, or it's best when you zoom out and you get green volatile foodie. We've got a dealer and a supplier. A dealer and a supplier. Steve, Mr. Brilliant, Hogarty. Prisoner number 021287. Sentence for 
one year for joyriding and they've served 0 0.9 years. They are not going to be in this facility for too long. The prison has a history with narcotics. They are always able to get the best deal for money contraband trading. The prison has a history with narcotics. They are able to produce narcotics much easier. I don't think they can produce it because we don't have, like, a farm, things like that. Looks like Waterhouse is doing a parole hearing, but uh, nobody else turned up, so... Oh, he has been released, though. Has he just filled the form in himself? <laughs> <laughs> I think it is possible, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go to wiring and connections. Uh, we've got six connections. The maximum active number is eight. So we're fine connecting this up. And have we finished that grant? We have. We do have that grant. And because... Oh, darn it. So, well, because of that, we can change our regime. So that eat is... I mean, I've, they might as well finish it, right? Or has everybody pretty much finished eating? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so we'll change that to... Work slash lock up in the middle there. Change our policy back to a medium quantity, medium variety. Our prison is well fed. Staff morale is high and six prisoners say they're well treated. Just going to double check our deployment here. And patrols. We want to have a magenta patrol. Magenta patrol will patrol around the back here. Up and round to there. And this actually patrols all the way along the outside, so I might as well do that. Actually, I'll put a I'll put a door in there then. That will be desirable. Walls and doors, doors, large jail door. That'll go in there. Utilities and wiring, door servo will be placed, followed by Hmm. Followed by the grid blowing up. I think what's happened there is we've been on the backup generator all this time. It didn't cycle over. Not a problem. We're back on now. So there we go. Prisoners. We have 28 prisoners. So not the 30 for the cleanup. But what I'll do is when prisoners are asleep... I think it would be best if we... Oh. Matt Sexton is fighting. Why are you fighting? And why are you fighting Laser, the guard dog? The volatile. That's probably why. Um, let me get some guard responses in this one, please. I don't know why the K9 unit's just there on its own. Ah. Oh been dealt with. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. So, that's inactive because they just haven't... <laughs> it's not someone on there. Do we actually need more staff now? I am going to get some more staff. Minus two grand. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> There's the door. We're going to go for wiring and connections. To that doll servo. Check out our patrols as well. Magenta. There we go. And sign a dog handler. And I will do shake down all sectors. This should remove any tools or drugs. And as soon as we get the new people arriving, oops, the uh, weather detected. Another hot spell. Three of them though. Maximum temperature 37 degrees. Alright. Just going to double check then our. Staff programs. We are doing electrician's training and the, the fire safety. We'll also have to start doing cold as well. I don't know why the cash flow has gone to so low. Why is it Why is it dipped like that? Meal quantity and variety is set. Only two eat times. We've received more prisoners. How strange. We're back up to 30 prisoners, which means we can go to Grants and pick up a crackdown on drugs, which is to find 10 illegal narcotics. Immediately we complete it because we've already done it in terms of finding it previously. So, yeah, that's good. Eight prisoners have been released, two more until we get a grading. 
And there we are. Alright, I think we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. Happy with progress once again. We've got another cell block. We've got a shop that's admittedly not working. Uh, a parole that doesn't <laughs> that staffs itself. So loads of people seem to be leaving very early. Um, oh, they're actually teaching there, are they? They're just stuck <laughs> on the visitor transport. I have no idea what is happening there. But, yeah. Overall, happy with our progress. Uh, where do we go from here? Well, the obvious one is get two more cell blocks and max out on 50 prisoners. Are we going to do that? Probably, actually. There's no real great need that is uh, in need of fulfilment. We do need to improve the yards, and I do want to do farming, but it would be flower therapy. So, let me double check that. Flower therapy. Led by a gardener in a flower garden. Okay, next episode, at minimum, I want two more common rooms. Common rooms? <laughs> two more cell blocks, which includes common rooms. And then... We will probably do maybe flower therapy stuff. Set that up going. I don't know. We'll see how we get on. Either way, the island is looking pretty nice. Money isn't, and it's going to get hot. But, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.